if you have been watching these videos in, in order, then you probably noticed by now that there are situations where the rule book will not only clarify will not only you know define what something is, but it will also go back and further define what it is not. And so in this video, let's take a look at what is not an assist. Since we just looked at assists in the, the last video. There are three different situations that the rulebook classifies specifically as being not an assist. So, you know, if you have, a, uh, if you're kind of fuzzy on it, these will hopefully uh, clarify on a particular play. So the first one is that we do not give an assist to a pitcher on a strikeout. Not to a pitcher on a strikeout. And so you'll recall that the, the catcher actually gets credit for the put out. It's the automatic credit for the put out if there is a, a strikeout. And so because we, we don't credit the put out to the pitcher, you know, maybe it, it would perhaps make sense to some people to give him an assist. But I think we, we do keep track of how many batters a pitcher has struck out. And so so we don't give him an assist. There is one, one exception to this, and that is unless he throws out a batter at first on a dropped third strike. So unless he throws out a, a batter first base on a dropped third strike. And so you remember if, if say, first base is open and, and we have our we have our batter here, and, and and first base is open. You know the the third or there's there's if there's two outs and you know some, there is a runner on first base, uh, then if if the the catcher drops the the third strike in the at bat, then the runner can can take off and and try to beat the force play at first base, and so generally what will happen is that the ball would just kind of you know bounce back here, and the the catcher usually doesn't have have much difficulty picking it, you know, running over to it, picking it up, and then throwing it, it the batter out. And and actually, I've never seen this occur, so it's probably a rare situation. But it, it it's you know quite possible that the the ball could bounce off the catcher, and you know maybe ricochet back out here, and so the the pitcher then he could could run down, pick it up and then throw on to first base and in this case he would receive credit for the assist. So the second way also relates to to pitchers and so a pitcher does not receive credit for an assist whenever the, there's a he throws a pitch and and a runner then is put out by being picked off or or caught stealing you know by the catcher. So so not to a pitcher when after he after he throws a, a pitch a runner is caught stealing or picked off a base you know by by the catcher and so this would be be say for example if, if we have a, a, a runner trying to steal, so we have a runner you know, on first base and he, he tries to move up on the pitch and the, the pitch is delivered and the catcher then throws you know, to, the, to whoever the second baseman or the shortstop likely be covering the base, he would receive the ball and then try to tag the runner out. So if, if the, the runner is out and he is caught stealing, we would give an assist to the catcher, but not to the, the pitcher. And so I think what these first two things here are, are clarifying, basically, is that if if it's a pitch, it cannot count as a you know as an assist as well. So so let's say that you know pitches d don't count as assists, you know. And then the, the final way that the rulebook specifically clarify, 
specifically in the states is not an assist is if a fielder's wild throw um, if there's a fielder who makes a wild throw and, and even if the runner is put out later on the play so a fielder wild throw is not an assist even if the, the runner is later put out and so this would be for example if we had a, a say a batter and he he hits a ball and he's running so let's say we have a, a shortstop and he the, there's a ground ball hit to the shortstop and he throws it you know over the first baseman's head and the ball gets gets back here and so this runner he might see that then depending how big you know the field is and that will vary at every location that basically every field you're at he might continue you know to try to run on to the next base so in the case that a say you know the first baseman or it could be the the catcher you know who runs down here he might pick up the ball and then be able to throw the batter out at, at to a you know another fielder covering second base so in this situation this throw here we would give you know credit for the assist to to the catcher or whoever threw it in this case, the, it was the catcher who said. So we would give him credit for the assist, but we wouldn't give credit to the shortstop on that play because it was a wild throw. So these are the three ways then that and, and that the rulebook specifically states are not count, counted as assists.